Today on the Cardinal Sports Network, your Lawrence Cardinals will be taking on the Princeton Day School Panthers in boys' varsity basketball. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Lawrence High School. This evening's game features the BDS Panthers, your very own Lawrence Cardinals. At this time, we ask you please rise and remove your hats and join us as we respectfully honor our barrier of the plane of our national anthem. the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Thank you and best of luck to both teams. Kellen Moore at center will be doing the jump ball for the Cardinals. And it's going to be PDS getting the initial jump. Princeton Day School comes into this game with a record of three and five. The last time out, they defeated the Hamilton West Hornets. Cardinals get the turnover. Cardinals come into this game with a four and five record and their last time out, they defeated Seneca with a much more impressive score of 51 to 38. Short while ago, we had the girls varsity Cardinals taking on the varsity Panthers. And Cardinals get two points to take the early lead in the game. That girls game that just ended, Lawrence Cardinals were victorious in a very close game. Cardinal boys hoping to do the same. That Panther pass sails out of bounds, turning the ball back over to the Cardinals. Kelly inbounds the ball to Robinson. Robinson to Kelly, back to Robinson. Now over to McNeil. Robinson. McNeil. To Kelly. Kelly to Moore. 
Four to Johansson. Johansson tried to put it up for two. That one is rebounded by the Panthers. Ball goes against the Cardinals, it'll be Panther ball. Panthers moving it around, trying to find a way through the Cardinal defense. Panther is looking for two, that's off the rim, rebound by Johansson. Off to McNeil who brings it forward. Pass to Kelly, cross court pass there to Robinson, now McNeil. McNeil drives in, takes the jump shot. That one's off the rim. And Johansson gets the rebound. He'll be fouled on his way to the hoop. I'll bring up the first foul shots of the game with Noah Johansson shooting two. Johansson puts the first one in. Point for the Cardinals. And he'll get one more shot. Johansson goes two for two at the line to give the Cardinals a four to zero lead. Now Panthers bring it across the center court line. They'll pass into the far corner. Back out again, that one's stolen by Kelly who sends it over to McNeil who lays it up looking for the two, doesn't get it, and it's rebounded by the Panthers. Panthers taking time to get set up. Now here's a drive into the hoop, no basket, and Johansson got the rebound, pass to Robinson, Robinson to McNeil. McNeil inside to Moore, that's gonna be wrestled away by Panthers. Panthers looking for the three, and they'll get it. Makes it a four to three game now. Cardinal still leading by one. McNeil coming the other way with the ball. Pass over to Robinson. Back to McNeil. McNeil looking for the two and he'll get it. Cardinals up six to three. Panthers go back on offense. That one's slapped away by Kelly, but goes out of bounds. It'll be Panther ball. Panthers inbound the ball. Cross court pass into the corner and looking for the three. That one does not connect. Panthers with the rebound. Pass it over to the far side and look for another three in and out. And Johansson gets the rebound, pass to Kelly. Kelly sends it across the court to McNeil, who's going to get called for a travel. That will turn the ball back over to the Panthers. Panthers put the ball back into play. That pass is stolen by Moore, but whistle on the play is going to return the ball to the Panthers. Panthers send it into the backcourt. Now they'll go back on offense. Pass into the near corner. And Moore gets that one without being called for travel. Pass to Kelly. And Kelly with the reverse layup for two. And the Panthers are going to call a timeout. So with three minutes and 43 seconds left in the first quarter, we're going to go into a break with the Cardinals leading eight to three over the Panthers. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Coach Molinelli sends his team back out onto the court. Still waiting on the Panthers.
And now the Panthers will join the Cardinals on the court. It's gonna be the Panthers putting the ball back into play to resume action. Panthers trailing by five behind the Cardinals. Panthers take it toward the corner. Now drive in toward the basket, jump shot is up and it's good. Panthers close to within three of the Cardinals. McNeil brings it forward for the Cardinals. And pass it off to Crowley. Crowley sends it into the corner. And Johansson puts it up looking for the two, can't get it, but Kelly got the rebound. Back into Johansson, who dumps it into the corner, and it's up for the three, that's off the rim. And this time, the Panthers will get the rebound. Panthers try to take it to the hoop, and that's gonna be turned over to the Cardinals as Kelly fires it forward. Now Johansson puts it up and gets the two-point jump shot. Panthers bring it across the midcourt line. Pass is picked off by Kelly. I'm sorry, that was Crowley who picked off the pass. McNeil going for three. That one does not connect. It'll bounce out of bounds. And it'll be Panthers with the ball. Panthers back in action. Moving over to the near side of the court. And pass inside, back out. They drive inside and three pointer. That one's good. And we've got a two point game here at the Cardinals next. Now Robinson will bring it forward. And pass over to. Crowley back to Robinson, then over to Kelly and back to Robinson. Kelly to Robinson. Robinson to McNeil. I'm sorry, that was Crowley again. Now Gregory pass to Kelly to Robinson. Robinson will go for the three. That one's off the rim. And it's going to be Panthers with the rebound, and they will take it the length of the court. No basket, but they will draw the foul. It's going to send Gary Jennings to the line, shooting two for the Panthers. Chance to tie it up. Jennings shooting two. First one goes in, and we've got a one-point game now. Jennings with a chance to make another shot. Meanwhile, Moore back into the game for the Cardinals. Jennings shooting one. And Jennings will go two for two at the line to tie it up at 10 apiece. It'll be Cardinals with the ball. Kelly passes it in to Robinson. Robinson brings it forward. Pass to Moore. Over to Crowley. And take it to the hoop for two points. Cardinals back in the lead, 12-2. Less than a minute left on the clock in this first quarter as the Panthers bring the ball the other direction. Panthers dumping in the corner, inside. That one gets away, recovered by the Panthers. But a whistle on the play. Going to be Panthers ball at the baseline. 
Panthers inbound the ball and go for the three-pointer. And they'll sink it as the Panthers take the lead, 13 to 12, with about 20 seconds left on the clock. Robinson brings it forward. Pass to Kelly. Kelly puts it up looking for the three. That one doesn't connect, and it's going to be the Panthers with the rebound. Panthers take it to the hoop. That one does not go in. That'll bounce out of bounds. It'll be Cardinals ball. Crowley heads over to take care of the honors. He'll pass it to Kelly. Kelly launches it, but no luck on the buzzer beater. So we'll enter the break with the Cardinals trailing by one, 12 to 13 the score. We'll be right back with the second quarter of this game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now, Cardinals coming back out to the court for the start of the second quarter. Much like we saw in the girls game earlier tonight, two very evenly matched teams as the lead has gone back and forth. Currently, it's the Panthers leading 13 to 12 over the Cardinals. Cardinals will have the ball to start the action. Johansson inbounds it. Now McNeil passes back to Robinson. And Robinson takes it to the hoop, but he's going to be fouled on the way up. That will send Robinson to the line shooting two. Robinson with a chance to give the Cardinals the lead. First shot is up. And it's good. Tie game, 13 apiece at the Cardinals' nest. Robinson with a chance to put the Cardinals back out front. Up it goes. And in it goes as Robinson goes two for two. Cardinals in the lead, 14 to 13. Panthers back on the attack. That's going to turn the ball over to the Cardinals. Robinson. Robinson to Moore. Go to Gregory. Gregory back to Crowley. Now yeah, McNeil. McNeil Gregory. Robinson. Robinson with a drive up the lane. He'll pop it up and sink it for two more. Cardinals now lead by three. Panthers cross it over to the near side of the court. Back to the far side of the court. And going for a three-point jumper, that one does not connect. Moore with the rebound, he'll hand it off to Robinson. Robinson to McNeil, that one gets away, but he recovers it. Back to Robinson. Robinson to Gregory, who puts it up looking for the two. Doesn't get it, but he's going to draw the foul. That'll send Bison Gregory to the line, shooting two for the Cardinals. Gregory puts the first one up, and he sinks it. The big man can shoot. 17 to 13 for the Cardinals, and Gregory will have another shot. Gregory shooting one. The rim. Moore gets the rebound. His doesn't go in. Gregory's doesn't go in either. And it's going to be Panthers coming away with the ball. Panthers pass goes right to Robinson and he's happy to bring it the other direction. Pass off to Crowley. Crowley to McNeil. McNeil to Moore. Moore puts it to Crowley under the basket, and he leaps up and sticks it in for two more points. Cardinals pulling away to a six-point lead now. 
Panthers into the corner. Here's a drive under the basket, and the layup is good for two. Back to a four-point game. Camille passes it to Robinson. Robinson to Crowley. Crowley back to Robinson, and Robinson for three. That one does not go in, and it's going to be rebounded by the Panthers. Panthers from the top of the key. That shot by, blocked by Gregory and Crowley. Going to put that up, looking for two more. It does not go in. Out of bounds on the Cardinals. That will be a Panther ball. Panthers resume the action. Now bring it across the midcourt line. Cardinals waiting for them with the zone defense. That's tipped out of bounds by the Cardinals. It'll be Panthers ball once more. Joe Hansen into the game for Crowley. Panthers put it up, looking for the two. That bounces out. They'll get the rebound. Cardinals will force a jump ball. Well, they're calling that a foul. The Panthers ball. Panthers up the lead. No basket, but they'll draw the foul. It's going to send Matthew Silverman to the line, shooting two for the Panthers. Silverman puts the first one in. He'll have another opportunity. And Wilson in for Crowley. Silverman puts it up, and that one bounces out. Kelly over to Robinson. Passes to Moore. Moore to Kelly. And Kelly's going to be called for a travel. Turn the ball over to the Panthers. Cardinal stepping up their defense a little. Shot up in the air and back down again. Caught by Johansson. Now here comes Robinson trying to go break through. He'll recover the ball. Moore puts it up and gets the two despite being triple teamed. Panther shot good for two. Kelly passes it to Robinson. To Kelly, back to Robinson. Back to Kelly. Now across to Wilson, and Wilson puts it up looking for the three. Kelly with the rebound, but that's going to end up in the hands of the Panthers. And Gary Jennings back to the line shooting two for the Panthers.
Jennings shooting two. Jennings sinks the first one. Shooting one. And Jennings will go two for two at the line to make it a one point game. Cardinals leading by one. Robinson brings it forward. He'll hand it off to Wilson. Wilson over to Kelly. Kelly back to Robinson. Back to Kelly. Back to Wilson. Inside to Kelly. And Moore will put it up looking for the two and he'll get it. Panthers back on offense. Panthers with a three-point shot. That one's off the rim. Rebounded by Robinson. Pass to Kelly. Very pretty. It's going to be a cardinal ball. Kelly passes it to Robinson. Robinson to Joe Hansen, to Kelly. Robinson. And more. To Kelly. To Wilson. To Robinson. To Moore. Moore puts it forward to Joe Hansen who puts it in for two more. Cardinals now lead by five. Johansson, but Panthers recover and put it up looking for the two. Can't get it. Moore will get the rebound. Moore to Kelly. Kelly to Robinson. Back to Kelly. Over to Moore. Moore puts it up looking for the two. Doesn't get it. But Johansson gets the rebound. Whistle on the play as Johansson hits the floor. It's going to be Cardinals ball. Just over a minute left in this first half. And Kelly looking to do the inbound pass. They'll pass it to Moore. Moore takes it inside, passes to Kelly. Kelly tried a bounce pass over to Joe Hansen. And that one's going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Panthers ball. Final minute of this first half, Panthers bring it across the midcourt line. That's over the far side of the court. Here's a drive in toward the basket. Can't get the shot off. Now to the near side, back to the top of the key. Far side of the court, drive back to the middle. And three point attempt, that was off the rim. Robinson on the breakaway with it. Does not get the basket, but he will draw the foul. That's going to send Elijah Robinson back to the foul line, shooting two for the Cardinals. First shot is up. That one's off the rim. Robinson will get another attempt. Now Robinson shooting one. Up it goes, and in it goes. Cardinals now with a six point lead. Panthers inbound the ball. 
And about 25 seconds left on the clock. Trying to make sure they're going to be the last ones to get a shot off. There's a drive inside, a pass out, and two point jump shot. That was off the rim. And there's the buzzer to bring the first half of the game to a close with the Cardinals leading score of 26 to 20 over the Panthers. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTBS TV. Watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Well, that was a very close, action packed first half. Cardinals managed to get a six point lead before going into the locker room for the break. Coach Malinelli's had plenty of time to confer with them and see how they can improve their game even more. It's going to be the Panthers with the ball to resume play for or start off their second half. Panthers inbound the ball. And they'll bring it forward. Action moves over to the far side of the court. Now inside. Hook shot, rolls the rim. Panthers rebound it, put it up for two. Now Robinson brings it forward. They'll pass it McNeil. McNeil sends it back to Robinson and Moore puts it up looking for two. Johansson with the rebound, he'll be fouled on the way back up. That's going to send Noah Johansson to the line shooting two for the Cardinals. Now Johansson puts the first one up off the rim. Johansson shooting one. He drains that one, so point for the Cardinals, 27 to 22. Panthers from the top of the key, and that one's good for two points. 27 to 24, Panthers have closed to within three points of the Cardinals. Robinson brings the ball forward. Over to Kelly, back to Robinson. Robinson can't get through, he'll drop back. Over to McNeil, McNeil to Moore. Moore tried to get it to Joe Hanson, but that one gets away and it's turned over to the Panthers. Panthers shot is blocked by Joe Hanson, they'll recover the ball. That one bounces around and finally falls in. Two more points for the Panthers and Coach Malinelli calls a timeout. So we'll take another break and be right back with more Boys Varsity Basketball action. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. There's Coach Malinelli outlining some plays to the team. Working hard to try and get the boys another win. Now the Cardinals will come out onto the court. Still waiting on the Panthers. And now the Panthers will head out to join the Cardinals on the court. Going to be the Cardinals with the ball to resume action. Kelly passes to Robinson. Robinson brings it forward. Pass to Crowley, back to Robinson, back to Crowley. Yeah. 
Crowley breaks through, pass to Johansson, who puts it up for two points. Cardinals extend their lead to three. Cross court pass there for the Panthers, now into the corner. Back out to center, and the jump shot is good for two points. We're back to a one point game. Crowley to Robinson. Going to be Cardinals ball from the sideline. Moore looking for someone to pass to. He'll find Crowley who lays it up looking for the two, doesn't get it. Johansson gets the rebound, but he's going to get burned with a travel call. Panthers ball. Panthers cross it to the far side of the field. Crowley steals the Pass, pass forward to Kelly. Kelly to Moore, who tried for the two-pointer, couldn't get it. Johansson dives on it, gets it back up. Not sure what the call is there. Looks like a pushing call. And Marvin McNeil back into the game for Robinson. And McNeil's going to get his... First two points of this quarter. Panthers for three, and it's good. That'll tie things up here at the Cardinals' nest. 31 apiece. McNeil brings the ball forward. Over to Kelly. Back to McNeil. Side to Crowley, that one gets away. It's going to turn the ball back over to the Panthers. Substitution for the Panthers. Davis inbounds the ball for the Panthers. trying to find a way through the Cardinal defense. They'll go for the long three-pointer. That one's off the rim, and Moore with the rebound. He throws it forward to Johansson, who does a reverse layup for two points. Cardinals back in the lead, 33 to 31. to stop that play. Gregory back into the game. It's going to be Panthers ball. Panthers move it to the far side of the court. Now in towards the basket. Back out again. And a travel called on the Panthers. That will give the ball back to the Cardinals. Crowley to McNeil. That's going to be turned over to the Panthers. Panthers for two, and they get it. Tied up once more at the Cardinals nest. 33 apiece with three minutes and 15 seconds left on the clock. McNeil brings it forward for the Cardinals. McNeil to Kelly, and to Gregory, inside, and Joe Hansen puts that one in for another two-pointer. Cardinals back in the lead. Three-point attempt. That one doesn't even touch the basket. McNeil passes it. I'm sorry, Joe Hanson passed to McNeil. Now Crowley for three, and he sinks it. 
Cards extend their lead now. Five point lead and it's going to be a timeout called by the Panthers. So we'll take a quick break and be right back with more of this boys varsity basketball game. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. And there's the buzzer to bring the teams back out onto the court. Cardinals will be first out. Still waiting on the Panthers. Second buzzer now. The Panthers will be heading out onto the court. And it'll be the Panthers with the ball to resume action. Jennings will pass the ball to Owens to get the game going again. Panthers cross it. Pass him to the corner. Now inside. That's going to be stolen by the Cardinals. McNeil to Kelly. Kelly lays it up and gets the two. Jump shot does not connect for the Panthers. McNeil with the rebound. Less than two minutes left in this third quarter. Pass to Crowley. Back to McNeil. McNeil thought about the shot. Instead, he'll pass it. Now Crowley inside. He'll drop it back to Gregory, who goes for the jumper. That one does not connect. It's kept in bounds by the Cardinals, but turned over to the Panthers. Panthers looking for the two. No basket, but they'll draw the foul. That's going to send Gary Jennings back to the line shooting for the, the Panthers. Panthers shooting two. Jennings puts it up, and he sinks the first one. They'll have another opportunity. Jennings puts it up, and he'll go two for two at the line. Cardinals still leading by five. Kelly inbounds the ball to McNeil. Over to Kelly. To McNeil. That pass is going to be taken away by the Panthers who are going to take it down the court. Unable to get the basket, but that's going to be another foul. It's going to send Julian Davis to the line, shooting two for the Panthers. Davis puts it up, and he sinks the first one. Now, Davis shooting one. That was off the rim, rebound by Moore. Moore passes it over to Robinson. Robinson to McNeil, back to Robinson, now to Kelly. Now to McNeil. McNeil with a fadeaway jumper, that one's off the rim and rebounded by the Panthers. Less than a minute left in the third quarter, Panthers coming the other direction with it. Moving it back and forth, looking for an opportunity. From the far corner, a three-point attempt is off the rim. McNeil with the rebound. And that's going to be a foul called. Going to 
be more inbounding it from the far side. Ward to Kelly. Kelly inside to Gregory. And Gregory's going to draw the foul. Tyson Gregory goes to the line. He'll be shooting two. First one's up. And he sinks it. Now Gregory shooting one. And Gregory will go two for two at the line. Panthers inbound the ball. About 15 seconds left on the clock. They got time for maybe one shot here. That's going to be tipped away by Crowley. Panthers ball. Panthers looking for the three, that's off the rim, and there's the buzzer to end the third period with the Cardinals leading 42 to 36 over the Panthers. We'll take a quick break and be right back with fourth quarter action. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. So the Cardinals re will return to the court with a six point lead. For those of you just tuning in, it's the Lawrence Cardinals versus the Princeton Day School Panthers in boys varsity basketball. Cardinals have led much of this game, but Panthers fought back in the third quarter, tie it up and take the lead briefly. Cardinals able to retake the lead and pull away a little bit. Moore looking to inbound the ball. They'll pass it to Kelly. Kelly to McNeil. McNeil over to Crowley. Crowley back to McNeil. McNeil to Crowley. Crowley to Moore. Moore to Kelly, and Kelly puts it up looking for the two. Can't get it. Gregory tried for the rebound. Didn't get it, and it's going to be Panthers on the attack. Traveling call on the Panthers. Crowley heads over to do the honors. They'll pass to McNeil, who brings it forward. McNeil drives in toward the basket. He'll get the shot off. That one rolls in and out. Now Moore, he'll get the layup and draw the foul. That will send Callan Moore to the line, shooting two for the Cardinals. If he can sink both of these, that'll make it a Cardinal 10-point lead. Shooting one, that was only shooting one, my mistake. And that one did not go in. It's the Panthers who get the rebound and they will bring it right down to the other end of the court looking to see if they can change things. Three-pointer off the rim. Panthers get the rebound and step out of bounds with it. Actually, that's gonna be charged to the Cardinals. So it'll be Panthers ball. Johansson into the game for the Cardinals. Joined by Robinson. Panthers back on the move with the ball. And that's gonna turn it over to the Cardinals. 
Kelly passes it to McNeil to get the action going again. McNeil passes inside to Johansson, and he puts it up for two points. It's a 10-point lead for the Cardinals. Now Panthers coming back the other direction with it. Pass inside disrupted by Gregory, but it rolls out of bounds. It'll be Panthers ball. Substitution for the Panthers. And that did not go the Panthers' way as McNeil is going to streak down the court. Pass to Kelly. Kelly lays it up for two. Cardinals extend their lead. And Panthers say it's time for a timeout to discuss things. So we'll take another break and be right back with more Boys Varsity Basketball action. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. And the Cardinals quickly back out onto the court. Panthers following. It's gonna be Panthers with the ball to resume the play. Panthers inbound the ball. They'll bring it forward. That one's going to go out of bounds. Give me Panthers ball. Panthers moving it around quickly. Cardinals right there. Shot is up and rebound. Well, that's going to be picked up by Robinson. Rebound by Panthers. And Panthers put it in to claim two. Back to a 10 point game. McNeil taking his time bringing it forward. You know, pass to Johansson. Johansson off to Kelly. Kelly to Gregory. And Gregory gives it to Robinson. Robinson up the middle. And it's going to be Panthers with the rebound. Panthers overshoot that one, but they'll get the rebound. Three-point attempt. And Gregory will get the rebound. And it's going to be Cardinal ball. Kelly heading over to do the honors. Substitutions for the Panthers. Waiting for the go-ahead from the referee now. Kelly passes it to Robinson. Robinson over to Moore. Moore to McNeil. McNeil drives in toward the basket. Doesn't get the basket, but he will draw the foul. That's going to send Marvin McNeil to the line, shooting two for the Cardinals. McNeil puts it up. That one will bounce off the rim. He'll get another try. Neil shooting one. That one's in and out. Moore gets the rebound and goes to put it up. I don't think that one's going to count. And it's going to be Panthers with the ball. Yeah. 
Four and a half minutes left in the game. Panthers trying to get back into it. And that's going to turn the ball back over to the Cardinals. Kelly to Robinson. And Cardinals are going to call a timeout. So four minutes and five seconds left on the clock. Cards lead 48 to 38. We'll take a quick break and be right back with more action. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Now the Cardinals come back out onto the court sporting a 10 point lead. Still waiting on the Panthers to join them. Now here come the Panthers, but it's going to be the Cardinals with the ball to resume action. Moore passes to Robinson. Robinson over to McNeil. Back to Moore. To Kelly. Back to Moore. Moore fires it across the court. There's a three-point attempt that did not go in. Cardinals with a couple putback attempts there and nothing going in. This will probably be a jump ball. Well, it's going to be the Panthers with the ball to resume play. Tipped up in the air by McNeil. Kelly tried to keep it in bounds, couldn't quite do it. So that's going to give the ball right back to the Panthers. Panthers back on the move. Into the corner it goes. That pass gets away. Now Moore collects the ball and hand it off to McNeil. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Robinson. It's time to Kelly. To Robinson. To Moore. To Kelly. And Kelly's going to be fouled. Moore comes over, read it in, on the ball for the Cardinals. Instead, Coach Molinelli is going to call another timeout. So we'll take another break and be right back with more boys varsity basketball action. You're watching the Cardinal Sports Network here on LTPS TV. Referee alerting the teams it's time to get back to the game. Coach Malinelli not quite finished this time. In fact, neither coach has finished yet. Now, Cardinals will head out toward the court, and they're joined immediately by the Panthers. Moore heads over to inbound the ball for the Cardinals. Moore passes it to McNeil in the backcourt. McNeil. As it Johansson, Johansson tries to the three, doesn't get it. Moore with the rebound. He'll put it up for two and draw the foul. Cards now up 50 to 38. And the Panthers find themselves in foul trouble. 
Moore puts it up. That was off the rim, but Johansson able to get the rebound and he's fouled. That was in Noah Johansson to the line, shooting two for the Cardinals. That one's in and out. Now Johansson shooting one. That's off the rim, rebound by McNeil. Oh, I'm sorry, that was rebound by Robinson who passed to McNeil. No basket, and it's going to be Panthers heading the other direction with the ball. And that's gonna turn it right back over to the Cardinals. Kelly coming over to do the honors right below our camera platform. Kelly passes it across the court to McNeil. McNeil to Robinson. Robinson sends it forward to Kelly. Kelly drops it back to Robinson. And a jump ball is going to be called on that one. Possession arrow is going to give it right back to the Cardinals as Moore heads over to do the honors this time. Moore to Johansson, who puts it up for an easy two-pointer. Cards up 52 to 38. Panthers in the far corner. So bring it back out. Pass inside. And that shot does not fall, but he'll draw the foul. That's going to send Sebastian Rizicki to the line, shooting two for the Panthers. Rizicki puts the first one up. That one does not go his way, but he'll get another opportunity. Now Rizicki shooting one. That's rebounded by the Panthers. And second attempt at a putback is good for two points. McNeil gets double teamed. Ball's gonna bounce out of bounds. Last touch by the Panthers. Moore heads over to inbound the ball. He'll pass it back to Robinson. Robinson to McNeil. McNeil's pass got to Moore, but there's a whistle on the play. And that's going to send Marvin McNeil to the line shooting to, well, shooting for the Cardinals. First one's up. And McNeil drains that one. He'll have an opportunity to score another. Now McNeil shooting one. Up it goes, and in it goes as McNeil goes two for two at the line. Panthers try to drive it up the lane. That one's gonna be taken away. And Robinson takes it to the hoop for two. Minute 10 left on the clock. Cardinals up 56 to 40. And that was a foul there by Kelly. Cardinals up by 16 points. It's going to be baseline foul. Hey. 
And good hustle there by Crowley trying to intercept the pass, but it goes out of bounds. Jack Ivanovich into the game for the Cardinals. Panthers looking to inbound it. And right away, Crowley with the steal. Pass to Ivanovich. That's stolen back by the Panthers. Also see Aiden D'Souza in the game for the Cardinals. It's going to be Cardinals ball. Cardinals inbound the ball. Ivanovich brings it forward. Now pass it to Crowley. Over to D'Souza. Back to Crowley. Pass to Coda. Now Ivanovich. And Crowley in the corner with it. He'll take it inside. D'Souza thought about the shot. Instead, he'll take it up to the hoop. Doesn't get it in, but Gregory with the putback for two. Cardinals now lead 60 to, well, 58 to 40. Panthers looking for the three. That one's off the rim. Rebounded by the Cardinals. And it's Cardinals on a breakaway. Everyone else catches up, and D'Souza passes it to Ivanovich, who sinks a three-pointer to give the Cardinals a 61-40 victory. Cardinals win 61-40 over the Princeton Day School Panthers. Thank you to Nathan Tepper for running camera for this event, and thank you all for watching. Be sure to tune in again next time for more exciting Cardinal sports action on LTPS-TV.